Okay, as promised, here's a quick video um, showing some examples of prediction intervals. So we're creating an interval that's going to predict a future observation from a population with an unknown mean that's approximately normal um, with a 1 minus alpha percent level of confidence. Okay, and you're given these formulas on the formula sheet. Actually, you're given... Yeah, you're giving them. Um, one is the case where sigma is known, and one is the case where sigma is unknown. So when sigma is known, we use our z-score, and we use sigma in our formula. So it's the sample mean plus or minus our special z times the standard deviation sigma times the square root of 1 plus 1 over n, the size of the sample. If sigma is unknown, we're going to use... We're going to actually have to calculate uh, S, or the sample standard deviation, unless it's given. And we'll use a T-score with N minus 1 degrees of freedom, where N is the size of our sample. All right, so let's look at two examples, one using each form. So in this problem, a random sample of 100 crickets was taken from a normal population in 60-degree Fahrenheit weather. The number of chirps per minute was observed for each cricket, and it was found that their mean chirps per minute was 78. Find a prediction interval for the chirps per minute of the next cricket observed if it is known that sigma squared is 1.44, and let's let alpha be 0.05, so a 95% uh, prediction, oh, 95 confidence for our prediction uh, interval. All right, so since sigma squared is known, we're going to use a z-score. Since alpha is 0.05, and we're creating an interval, our z-alpha over 2 is z.025, which we know to be 1.96. We have the sample uh, mean that was 78, so our prediction interval is the sample mean plus or minus our z-alpha over 2 times sigma times 1 plus 1 over the size of our sample, which is 100. Okay, and of course on the exam, you want to simplify that so it's um, clear that you give the exact interval, or the, the interval in decimal form. All right, so that interval with 95, we, we feel with 95% confidence that the next observed cricket will have uh, average chirp per minute falling within that interval. Okay, now let's look at an example where we don't know sigma. So you may be given a problem with a certain number of uh, data points. Here we see that n is equal to 15. We want to find a 95 prediction, 95 percent prediction interval for drying time of the next trial we run on paint drying time. Okay, and we're assuming that the paint drying time um, follows an approximately normal distribution. Okay, so since sigma is unknown and our n is not large, we're going to use s, which we are going to calculate from our sample and x bar. All right, so we can plug that into our calculator. We find s to be 0 0.9709 and x bar to be 3.7867 and n is 15. This means our degrees of freedom are 14. So since we're using um, s, our alpha is 0 0.05 and n is 15, we find t sub 0 0.025 to be 2.145. So that just goes in place of the z from the above formula. So it's our sample mean plus or minus our t score times s times the square root of 1 plus 1 over the size of our sample. And again, we simplify, have it in decimal form, and that is our prediction interval. That's it.